What's up, YouTube? Let's try that again. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Ridgewood, Queens here in New York City. You're hanging out with me, your boy, Michael Signorelli. And uh, listen, I'm having so much fun. My wife is out of town in Florida with the kids, doing a little R&R, &R, sponsored by her parents, shout out. And I'm gonna show you in a few seconds what my apartment turned into while, I, while she was gone. Because it's funny, it doesn't matter how old you are, how long you've been married, when your wife's gone for more than like 24 hours, you go right back to 17 years old. Whatever you did in that era of your life starts creeping back in. It better be something good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. <laughs> pizza box. Now we all know that Julie would be mortified to know that this was going down in her house because all 600 square foot of it is like her domain. But when she's gone, it turns into a 600 foot luxurious New York City recording studio. At first I was like, man, I feel bad, you know? I mean, you can't just rock out music this loud in a New York City apartment until I realized that my neighbors who live upstairs above me every day for a good six hours straight, their kid cries to the point where I'm almost at the point where I'm convinced they're murdering their own child. And right as I'm holding the phone in my hand and I, th I think I'm gonna call 911 like it's for the sake of this kid, he stops crying, that's every single day. So if there's any way that I could just balance the equation and kind of like keep things, you know, where we're both like equally annoying each other, it's playing ridiculously loud music. So Julie, I just want to assure you everything will be okay when you get back. Um, but for now, we gotta rock and roll! All right, that's gonna be it for me tonight. I'm gonna get back to work. I wanna say this, I found an SD card with a ton more footage from this last weekend in Indiana. So we're gonna cut over to that for a second. You can see some of the hilarious behind the scenes stuff for this wedding and different things I was doing. <laughs> that was so creepy. <laughs> I can't even use that. <laughs> Hey, this is me in a pink bow tie. Never thought I'd see that happening. You want to say something? Hi. Blogging camera. Wait, I want to see myself. <laughs> this is my girl Autumn, aka the favorite. Wait, get my dress in it. There we go. Get the dress in it. Otherwise, it's just me. This is Johnny Cash. Mm -hmm. He's my favorite. Oh, I love Autumn's being so lovey. No, just because I miss you. Oh. This is a good thing it's on camera because they ain't ever gonna. Nobody would believe this. Nobody. And this is Dom using all the film up on a camera that's not his. I'm vintage. What camera is that? Hey, I'm a hipster. If you say you're a hipster and you don't use one of these, you're a fake. Hey, Mike said. Your life together. Mike said, I love that she's being so lovey. <laughs> she's never done that. Like, who never. is this? Don't I love me. this. Nobody else touch me. Yeah. Get this on uh, your vlog. It's okay. I get it. It's cool. Hey. Alone at a wedding is really great. You want to tell tell the world who you are, like what you're doing, and I'm, I'm Chris here I'm at uh, Trevor's, Trevor's wedding. Trevor's you know, wedding, you know, having a great time. It's nice. What are you looking forward to doing? Uh, Can you guys dance? Uh, I cannot uh, dance. No, we're I'm white. Too white, yeah. Right. As you can see, they are very white. <laughs> Tasty. <laughs> it's 27. Tell everyone about your husband, Nick. Oh, God. He's really tall. He's great. I think they say about tall men. He is. We love him. We love him. I had the privilege of marrying them, Maybe. and they are the cutest. I was sweating so bad during it the ceremony bad. that it was like embarrassing. Like, I didn't even want to look. I was like ashamed because it was water. 
<laughs> well, who's the groomsman who was sweating more than oh, me? Oh, Kyrie. <laughs> you couldn't even see it, like his shirt. His shirt, he wasn't Water. wearing a t-shirt under it, and it was like, it looked like he jumped into the ocean. Yeah. Because it, it was in front of the ocean. Mm -hmm. okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, anything else you want to tell the world? No. Just super excited for Taylor and Trevor. Is this, and that you guys are here. Does this make you uncomfortable? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, kind of the issue that we're having is that Andrew made the mistake of looking better than the groom. Yeah. And what we told him, we're like, Andrew, you can't come out and just do this to Trevor. <laughs> I tried to downplay myself. I tried not to look good, but you know, I gotta be ready. You know, you might meet your wife one day. It might be today, so I have to look good. I tried. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like you never want to be the guy who looks better than the groom, but but I mean, for weeks he tried, and I he tried just to looks amazing. I tried to prepare myself, but I just can't. No. <laughs> Trevor and Taylor as they the rest of their lives together chasing you.